I'm so silly. Oh, Lord. <laughs> We're all just a bunch of, like, fifth graders. <laughs> we really are. Just because anytime somebody says a toot or a poo, everybody's like, he. <laughs> well, I mean, a, a good dick choke will never get old. It and a really good won't. poop joke will never get it old. It won't. Like, they're, they're just comedic relief yeah, anytime you yeah. need it. So last week was deadline. <laughs> <laughs> we met it. We yeah, met we're it. We're a little preoccupied. <laughs> it's a little bit. Yeah, you guys went to a couple of the festivals, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we actually wound up going to Green Grove. Yeah, sorry. You said Green Grove. No, yeah, I didn't yeah, hear you. I'm so sorry. We're just on the same wavelength. Uh, um, we, we actually <laughs> we taped a, an intro to our show last week. And it didn't come through. Oh, okay. So apologize to the audience. Um, anyway, uh, it was a fun time though. We had a great time, and it was really good to uh, just acknowledge people in the industry that have um, really given a lot. Uh, I mean, not just a lot, but their their being uh, essentially. Um, I'm I'm there with you guys. I eat, drink, and sleep this, and so I applaud each and every one of you that. Um, that won awards this weekend. I think it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. So, anyway, uh, what have you been up to, Jasmine? Oh, look at Jasmine. She's adjusting her microphone there. <laughs> it was. I was banging into it, and you can hear everything. Hey. What's up? <laughs> um, you said what now? What's up? What have you been up to? Uh, well, I was at the Green Girl with y'all. What's up? <laughs> Other than that, it's just been you know rocking and rolling. Um, getting um. Truly Medicine's first episode together be, I'll have my, well, we'll have our first meeting meeting um, this coming Monday, and we have a, quite a few people lined out. Yeah, who's we? Aaliyah Vargas. <laughs> She's awesome, man. She's amazing. Yeah. And so glad we got her on as a host. Um, she and I will, um, again, as we said last time, the first episode is going to be about spirituality and cannabis. So we have quite a few people coming on, at least two people so far, and we're excited to get that ball rolling. It's going to yeah. be super fun. Oh, I can't wait to listen to myself. I think it's going to be great. Yes. Yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. I've, missed, I've missed the Truly Medicine podcast. We had a yeah. few people saying that, too. They were like, we miss it. And I was like, well, he was busy. But now we're rocking and rolling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we were able to kind of pass that baton over because it was a show that I really loved and I missed too. Um, I miss doing it. Um, but I think a lot of people, I hope a lot of people will get a lot out of it. But anyway, it's great. I can't wait to listen to mm-hmm. see what you guys. Well, come I mean, up with. also the video of it too. Oof. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be awesome. Yes, it's going to be fun. Yes. yes. Lots of fun things coming around the corner for Well, you guys for didn't have video on it before, so that's like a whole new, yeah. whole new thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, before that's we fun. had... Um, we can see the faces behind the voices. <laughs> yeah. Um, and speaking of seeing your face, I can't see your face because that microphone Ugh. is just right on your mouth. Know I know everybody's going to want to be able to see you. Look at that. There we go. Perfectly fixed. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Tristan? You've been on stage before. Right? <laughs> I have. I've been on, on numerous stages. He's like, yeah. well, let me just fix it. He didn't even ask. He's yeah. like, oops. But I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, man. Me proud for a minute. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, Tristan, what's up, man? What you been up to? Tell us why you're here. Um, <laughs> I was invited uh, by you guys to come on the show uh, immediately. Welcome. And I am always a proponent of saying yes. Uh, obviously if it feels right um, but also spontaneity is like some of the best medicine as well sure is open that package get it just rip it, just rip it. Um, actually I'm 
my All right. horoscope is pretty dynamic, but... So uh, you know your whole chart? Uh, pretty much. Okay. Okay, before, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> before we go there, let's talk about Tristan. Okay, yes. Tristan, hey, listen, man, we can find you on Instagram. That's where I found you yes. uh, before, and we've talked in, but before. I've mm-hmm. actually interviewed you for Herbage Magazine. Mm-hmm. We used your art for a cover. <laughs> on one of our <laughs> books and it was freaking badass thank i love you. it thank you so much and uh so what's your instagram it is pineal glander that's p-i-n-e-a-l-g-l-a-n-d-e-r okay and that for the most part is where everybody can see your work or is it that... is okay it is um i also have a um link in my bio as well um, I have to change a few things in there, but yes, um, I've got Etsy up as well where I have some of my artwork and then um, I'm also about to put um, my artwork on another one called Canvy. It's mm. similar to Art My Wall. Mm. Um, some artists use those platforms uh, to where you basically can shoot your, your canvas up onto a print and it looks like it's in someone's house. So oh, it's, easier, cool. to sell. Yeah. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. easier to sell that way. So people actually get a visual of like, oh, this actually would look good in my house. Let yeah. me pay you what you asked for. So yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's that's really cool. I wonder if there's, man, there's all kinds of mobile uh, uh. <laughs> technology now for artists is absolutely ridiculous. Right yeah. Now. yeah, the platforms that are coming out because artists are like going, I, I can do this better, or right. this is what I need, and this is what other artists. I feel need, so I'm going to create this. Uh, Creatively is another platform for artists. Uh, You can literally get a job on there for being just a designer or just whatever. So it's really cool that these things exist now in 2021 for us. Um, I think artists need as many platforms as possible to share and express themselves, especially because they have so many avenues of expression, so why not have all yeah, those avenues? all of them. Yeah, all yeah. of them, all of them. Exactly, and then some people, you know, find that niche, um, you know, within those, and really do well. Um, it's something that we talk about often, Anna and Jasmine and I. We talk about like, uh, you know, being not not necessarily being different, but being unique mm-hmm. and being in, in, within our own and. Um, the overabundance of people that say that they can do it better um, is going to continue to get larger and larger and larger as time goes on. But we all still know that cream rises to the crop, and and you are one of those creams, my man. I mean, you've got some good work going on. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I really enjoy uh, watching some of your processes, what you're doing. So, like, what he does is what a lot of uh, artists do is um, um, document the process. Which I like that, man. Um, you, I've seen some of your videos and things like that of of, uh, of of doing that. I do that myself whenever I paint, but I do it in still image, mm. and uh, <laughs> it'd be so much more fun in video. I, I it, you know, you, you've inspired me to kind of try to do some little bit of that just to add that into the flair. But uh, man, I really yeah. like what you're going on. Appreciate what you, it. What you have going Appreciate on. Appreciate Are these some of your pieces? Yeah, they are, but, awesome. you know, they're just awesome. home stuff. That's cool, though. Yeah. Um, it's cool that you express yourself that way. I, I didn't... Uh, <laughs> In my house. Would have, yeah, <laughs> but I would have never, you know, I would have never guessed. But also, like, I haven't been doing this for a very long time. Um, now, the artist that dwells and is within me has been there throughout millennia. Uh, it, you know, I believe that it takes certain people to come about uh, or... Uh, circumstances or situations that bring about uh, creativity or whatever. Uh, For me it was taking mushrooms with a really great friend of mine and we did acrylic pours for the first time like a couple years ago. Now I want to do that. That's that's now like you know and so that's now like you you know this is what it's transformed into Um, but yeah like Artists are videoing their, their stuff, yeah. but also what I'm about to incorporate is a, a, a friend of mine helped me out with this, is specializing my niche. Um, because I love dance uh, or the art of motion, um, I will be here in the near future, I will be filming myself dance 
and paint at the same time. So Ooh. it's something that's not actually being done right now. Yeah. Um, I've already, I've looked and done the research. There aren't dancer artists or fluid art painters is really what I call it. Um, right. Where they videotape themselves, you know, to a playlist or whatever it is, but using your full body and dancing and creating a now I've seen Chris Brown do it with like buckets of paint and yeah. like on his shoes and stuff like yeah. that's also yeah. really cool. I've also I, watched big, the Big Lebowski. Me, yes, exactly. <laughs> but like, I, I want to like incorporate all of that yeah, into yeah. one one kind of motion picture kind that's of just, right? yeah. That's yeah. really cool. I love dance. I grew up in dance. Yeah. That's like my favorite form of Same. Yeah, Same. Yes. I get that. Yes. Um, how long have you been dancing? On and off for I guess I started when I was like. I don't know, seven or eight, and mm -hmm. then I danced through, kind of through high school. Oh, am I not close enough? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, but yeah, on and off since probably I was like seven or eight years old. Okay. But now it's just like in my living room. I have like dance fitness classes I do. There you go. But mostly just like free flow stuff. Perfect. But yeah. Perfect. That's I, awesome. I also like to take videos dancing, so that was like... <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. Honestly, that's the best thing you can do. I think it's happy and healthy for you to do those things. Um, mm -hmm. I think um, we tend to go, oh, I need to post this, or I need to... It's like, you don't have to post everything. Like, sometimes I think it just needs to be yeah. you, mm -hmm. yourself, in the moment, you don't have to post everything. You don't have to share everything. Yeah, and to yeah. It, and it really to everybody's threshold is different in that in that area. Um, I don't want to go and judge anyone that shares everything because yeah. I love it whenever yeah. people do. But I also uh, understand when people don't. Mm -hmm. um, so I get what you're saying, but there's a different threshold for certain people. Yeah. Like for me, I'll share just about every fucking thing I can, but. <laughs> there is a threshold i have some things that are private and i have some things that i work on myself that i want to be tip top and perfect before anybody ever sees them mm -hmm. um many of those things are never seen ever and they probably <laughs> never will be yeah but uh uh yeah i totally get what you're saying there's there's definitely a threshold movement yeah. there so um grandmother always told me a time and a place uh for those things yeah um, um what was I saying? Oh, <laughs> um, I, I just, I like lost it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what were we talking about? Yeah. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do I have to oh, dance to get back yes. to this? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. my dance. 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 I've been a dancer, I've been a dancer for a long time, too. I taught myself um, how to dance. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I didn't like go to actual dance. Uh, academy or like <laughs> things like studios until I was much older. Right. Um, I actually went to Los Angeles. Um, I went to David Allen's dance studio for dance. Mm -hmm. um, spent a year there and it was like amazing and scary and just like life happening all at once. Um, you, you take a boy from Oklahoma and he drives with all of his shit to a place he's never seen before and only has dreamt about and you're just like that drive was like the best drive in the entire universe. <laughs> yeah. I want to do it over and over again. I employ, I employ people from Oklahoma to do trips like this, uh, whether it's by yourself or with a companion. Um, I think that in itself was just like the mecca of trips. Yeah. Um, and that was your first dance class? No, that was actually oh, like, yeah, was like, no, oh, shit. He was like, I'm all in. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm definitely bold, but I was just, this was something that I had came across uh -huh. um, on Instagram randomly. They had actually had an ad for it, and I applied and was like, you know what, I'll just give it a shot. And I auditioned, and they liked me, and I had a phone call, and I on, and on I was. But before that, it was... I've been on So You Think and Dance a couple times. Oh, really? Season eight. Yeah, I was on season That's 8 and 10. That's kick-ass. Yeah, I, I uh, made it pretty decently, um, on mostly on, on 10. 8 was like really like a mind-blown of just the talent and so what I needed to work on. Uh, 10, I came back, and this was in Dallas, so I was like, hell yeah, I got to go there. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, the other one was in Los Angeles, so actually that was my first time to be in Los Angeles. Um, 
Yeah, out of 700 people, it was like top five in hip hop. And oh, really? Cool. This that's cool. really yeah, kick like, ass. It's really cool just yes. to be really proud of myself to do that. Yeah, yeah man. Um, did auditions in Florida, and everyone there basically just told me I need to be in Los Angeles the way I look, the way I perform, this and that. You got to go out there. So I was like, well, I need obviously a, a reason to go, you know, and I it popped up so that's that's the tie into that story is just yeah. i found my my out and it was really cool yeah uh, i was homeless for a little while you know i played that that part uh that was like the toughest i think part of it but other than that i came back with you know a reality check humbleness <clears throat> and just like a, a hunger and drive to just be here and appreciate what i have here yeah, um, yeah. It's weird how sometimes it, it takes us to get to that level, doesn't it? I mean, to really understand where we are and what and who we are and what to appreciate and priorities. It's weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to move away to appreciate Oklahoma. Yeah. As well, mm -hmm. it was two years, and then I was like, I need to be back in Oklahoma. <laughs> I need the red dirt and the sunsets, and <laughs> I need all of it. Yeah. And I could do without the allergies, though. Okay. <laughs> Allergies, I can and do the four that. seasons. I can't do yeah. the four seasons. Four seasons of one day, yeah. no yeah. less. One yeah. day. I, that's the one thing. It's like if if Oklahoma could be perfect, it would be seventy five and sunny every day. But then right. you'd be comparing it to California. So right. like, I like, we just moved to California. So, <laughs> yeah, that's true. yeah, just like I don't want the snow. Like I could do without that part. That's yeah, like the one thing I yeah, I'm being okay cold. with three of the seasons. Yeah. Three. Just, <laughs> just yeah, three <laughs> so you just want the one that's in Southern California. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, yes. Okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Me too. Don't we all? <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. And so anyway, you came back. Yeah, I came back. Um, really didn't have a clue what to do, what I wanted then. Um, just kind of sour coming back um, I wanted to do better but it's expensive it's just so expensive and you know I just didn't have I guess the resources to expand and thrive out there yeah um, but coming back uh, I worked for Integris for a little while did really good over there um, ended up going to culinary school my family was just like so what do you want to what are you going to do? I'm just like, well, why are you guys having this conversation with me for one? Uh, two, I have no idea. Um, but they were like, well, you like food. And yes, I love food. Ended up getting my culinary degree. Um, spent my time in the kitchen uh, long enough to know that this isn't the place I am supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> it's very confining. $17,000 later. That's good. You're just like, yeah. Sick oh, oh my god, I'm glad I learned that I don't want it. And go, yeah, I'm paying you off. I know, I know. <laughs> um, you know, only to just, you know, be be super. Yeah, that was just a bummer. But yeah. uh, <laughs> it's just the people, like, you know, it's, it's one thing to have thick skin. It's another to just be around people who just push too far and just expect way, way too much in, mm -hmm. in reality for what you're wanting. And, you know, mm -hmm. when you don't listen to logic and reason and things like that, you know, and then it's just the toxic environment, people drinking a lot, coming to work, things like that. So I was just like, I, this isn't who, who I am. And I don't really want to be a, like associated with things like that. Right. Not that there's not kitchens that aren't, healthy and happy and uplifting and encouraging you just don't see it a whole lot mm -hmm. and so that's really like it's like well i can only be a light for so many for so long in an atmosphere until i just yeah. like I'm like well if i'm not getting replenished then i just don't want to be here i can see what you're saying but i do have to say that the uh any restaurant that would be worthwhile to go to, would probably have that environment in there. Mm -hmm. And I spend because that's just the way it is. It is. Yeah. And is. Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm not gonna. You know. Hey. Yeah. I loved. I loved what I learned. That's the important part that I took away from the kitchens is that I learned. 
uh, the things I needed to learn. So that, that way I can share those with my fellow man and woman um, just in circumstances like this. Like I would come in and just cook for you guys and just hang out. Yeah, it sounds man. like you need to come on the cooking show. I will. <laughs> yes, I will. that would be it so does. fun. Totally. Do it. I, do it. Like do it. Can do that. Yeah, I'll show you guys some stuff. I think we all should do awesome. a full cooking yeah. show. That would be good. And that's a medicine yeah. too. That's a medicine. <laughs> <laughs> that's a medicine in itself and that's really like I think where my life has really been gearing towards is just letting me experience different parts of life so that that way I can combine these together and create something masterful or you know purposeful so when 780, 788 came around it was like oh yeah this is uh, I lived in Cali like I you know I was there I, I worked for a company out there doing cartridges and concentrate so like I, I was in the jam like and so when I came back I was like yeah I have to put for this and I knew like I just knew that it was gonna get voted yes I just knew just knew country boys mm -hmm. everywhere I, I I went to high school with them you know what I mean it was just like so everybody was the, all about it yes yeah, yeah I was just like this is getting pushed hard so I knew I wanted to be in the industry because I'm sure I understood the medicine yeah <clears throat> coming from from abuse I knew that this would be an opportunity for me to also heal but also help uh, heal other people in in the realm that I was working in um, so I started out as a bartender and I yeah I just had something so to backtrack sorry I, <laughs> I was in the kitchen and I just like had this stomach ache I had a stomach pain for like a couple days and it was just like oh, what is this why why is this happening just like and you just start to hear you start to listen and it's just like the small tiniest voice was just like you have to get out of here it's just like you have to huh. leave we're just like well i don't i don't understand what this is about like i have a coin you know i have a this i have a that you know and you're like well did you did you like actually hear it or yeah i heard it i was yeah. back there like doing some dishes and okay. i was just like what is this? Oh, uh, your spirit guide is yeah. going through for like, sure. Yeah. He was like, yeah. all right. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you're in the wrong you position go, right you now. Go. Yeah. I was like, well, they only had, like, they just lost two people. You know what I mean? My mind was just like, well, but this and that mm -hmm. and this. And it was like, well, I have to sit on this, you know, and like figure it out. But yeah, just like it took me a couple days and it was like, yeah, I have to, I have to leave and figure out what I want to do. And uh, I had a friend who worked at a dispensary and I was like, so what do you guys do? Like, what, what's it like? You know, and she told me that a lot of people have come out of the restaurant industry to be in this and things like that. And I was like, wow, okay. So this is like, you know, people I can be around. Yeah. Um, it's your people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, community is really important to me. Yeah, it's, sure. it's part of my core values. So when you see cannabis, cannabis is all about culture and community. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's like hand in hand. Agreed. Uh, people who don't see that, it's, it's unfortunate. <laughs> they don't, yeah. They're not <laughs> It's cannabis. unfortunate. If they it's don't like see it, they're not in cannabis. Right. Yeah. Right. Or they're um, in it for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Right. For sure. Um, you know, you never, you see people drink alone. I don't think I've ever seen people smoke alone. You know, bes besides like in their own, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, when I'm meditating. Yeah, 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 I, do all the time. I, I preferably see it in groups and we're together yeah, and yeah. we're doing yeah, stuff and we're making things happen. It's a communal. Like you're not going right. to go to like Relax Park and go sit at a table alone. You're right. probably going to yeah. find other other people there. That right. Want to share. Who are also creative and open mm -hmm. and are open to collaborating yeah. and want to do fun things. Um, that that's really like the cool part about the industry is that there's people with ideas. We're not just on our couch watching TV. Like yeah. our brains actually function and like we and also we create. What I what I love about the community too is kind of in the same vein of what you're talking about. It's neat. Like it's like a, it's like you have friends instantly, and you don't have to meet them. Okay, so uh, now I know somebody that. Uh, thinks just like I do and it's into the same stuff that I am even though I'm not in the same exact stuff that you guys are but I can find them through cannabis yeah. on the other side of the country and we can talk and, and we're friends and stuff it's really cool mm -hmm. it's 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 such a, a beautiful thing yeah. yeah yeah to touch on the 
Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to touch on that, that's, um, that's really where I found most of my friendships is through uh, cannabis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> At least the ones that are, you know, what I would consider long-lasting and, and uh, nur nurturing and, and nourishable. Um, right. Just going through life. You know, yeah. you, you lose people along the way. Uh, without, you know, taking it personal, you just come to a conclusion that maybe this is where I'm supposed to be and these are the people that I'm supposed to be with. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so how can I best serve these people? How, you know, like you said, a need. What can I give you that you need that you don't have right now? Yeah. Um, but what can we get from one another? What can yes. we learn from one another? Yeah. Right. Are we just going to meet up and throw rocks in the mud? Or are we yeah. going to actually have a conversation yeah. and come to some sort of solution or conclusion to, to that is beneficial to the world or both of us? Yeah. You know, it's... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> about the cannabis industry is like when you make a new friend that you think is really cool or you just meet someone who's mm -hmm. really interesting you no longer have to like face that awkward moment of like do you smoke so <laughs> right <laughs> yeah, exactly. smoke what yeah, yeah. and if somebody <laughs> ever said smoke what then you no yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like what are you talking about <laughs> yeah walk right on by yeah it's oh, just my. funny how like everybody it thinks the same way in that realm yeah. of cannabis across the world. Yeah. I mean, really, because mm -hmm. we've lived in this ridiculous, uh, you know, prohibition state. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of the of yeah. whatever we're in right now. There's yeah. still but, a lot of people that are still stigmatized by it, just by the simple fact that there are parents that are like, "I'm teaching my child about cannabis," but yeah. at the same time, they're still in a corner, like. <laughs> You can't see me smoke, and it's like, well, then you're just defeating the purpose. It's like it has right. to go hand in hand. If you want, if you want people to actually, if you want to start breaking that stigma, you have to actually put it at the forefront. Mm -hmm. You can't just sit there and still be like ashamed of it or whatever it may be. Yeah. Like it's yeah. medicine, so you just have to. They're gonna feel. They're gonna sense that shame and be like, well, why did you hide it? Exactly, it's not bad. and it's not like, hey, mm -hmm. hey, child, let me blow this in your face. It's just like, <laughs> let's talk about this like yes. what do you know how can we converse about this mm -hmm. and like get your better understanding mm -hmm. and that's that's what i try to do especially with the kiddos that i'm around yeah so. and see, the, one of the things is like you can go over overboard the other way i think yeah. you can get to more you know like this is the way that you're supposed to be child you know, oh yeah, yeah. Like definitely so, not doing that mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think to be able to mix it in like if you think of it as any other you know medication i don't go to my son and say hey hold on a second i need to uh, take my the medication that my dentist gave me yeah you know it's just hey i need to take my medicine we'll be good We'll be good in a minute. I mean, it's just normal yeah. conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's simple. Normalizing. Yeah. What made it not simple is stupid assholes making it illegal. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lincoln <laughs> hasn't gotten to the age yet, though, where he started probably asking a lot of questions, has he? Because I have a friend. No, he doesn't, he doesn't need to ask questions. It's yeah. uh, been part of the conversation um, pretty much his entire life. Well, you know when but, kids get to that stage mm -hmm. where like no matter what conversation you're having, they're like, okay, but why? Mm -hmm. But yeah, why? Sure. The why, why stage. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, I have a friend whose kid is in that stage and like I just commend her for like how patient she is <laughs> and how she really tries to explain it to her like, you know, she's it's an adult conversation, but she's also one of the adults, you know, like mm -hmm. she needs to have a full understanding of it and understand like why it's not okay for her to use it yet yeah. and why mm -hmm. yeah. her mom uses it. Mm -hmm. and well, like that. I mean, I've if you're asking me if I've had that discussion with him. Yeah. Well, um, I was just saying he's probably not old enough yet that he's started to really like get curious about it. Well, I mean, yeah, he's old enough to be get curious about anything that he's around. I mean, yeah. he's six and a half years old. Um, but the thing is, is uh, like I said, it's kind of a with with my son. Um, it, it's not really a conversation. It's never been a conversation. It is. It's always. It has been to where he has noticed whenever I do need to take my medicine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, or I have apologized to him, just like any other human being. As a person to person, I apologize to you for being a certain way. 
and this is why and I'm trying not to let that happen again and talking to them and him in that way he understands it I believe yeah. Um, he acts as if he does. Yes. He acts very adult about it. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Six Kids and a understand half. a lot more than what we give them credit for. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, yeah. A lot He's, more. Yeah. But, but yeah, having that, he doesn't ever ask me why. He doesn't ever ask me what that is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He just knows what it is. Mm-hmm. It's understood. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And that's and a great relationship to have, though. Yeah. I think so, too, um, because I didn't want to be um, the, the dad that, and not, and, okay, listen, I'm not being judgmental. This Disclaimer. is just not me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I was not going to put, like, a wrap around my car that had a big pot leaf on it mm-hmm. and, and, you know, and things like that. Yeah. I mean, it's just not me. It's yeah. not, I didn't do that whenever I worked in other industries. Uh, it's just not me. So I didn't want to be that type of uh, educator to my mm. son uh, about it. I wanted it to be just no energy, almost. It's almost like with soda, sugar. Mm-hmm. I've figured out that if I put zero energy on it, if I'm able to say, if I don't even say no, I don't even. He doesn't even ask for them. He never has. Whenever as from since a baby, because I've never said that's bad for you. Mm. Mm. I've never said it's good for you either. Yeah. But I've never put any energy on it. So it's just been part of the world. I love that uh, insight too. Yeah. That's a good... I love that. That makes sense. Yeah. That's pretty good. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) It's philosophical of you. I'm loving it. (laughs) No, man. I'm just trying to be a dad. Yeah. For sure. Um, Yeah. Shoot. My parents never did any of those things for me, so... I learned all those things through application, yeah. whether it be through drug abuse or whatever. Um, so I commend you on, on doing those things. Well, thank you. It's, it's an experiment. I yeah. mean, you know, yeah. it's not something that um, I learned uh, There's definitely from... no handbook on no. Mm-hmm. You know, no. that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but so far it's working. Uh, you know, we'll see. It's working. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy belated Father's Day, by the way. Yes. yes. So, Jasmine went out of her way to like, oh, yeah, I pick out this cute little gift for yeah. you. So and cute. I haven't seen it yet. So yes. Show um, yeah, I'll show you guys. I don't want to butcher her name. I always butcher it and I don't want well, to. Well, it's uh, Can you look Tanya Sapping. Yes, Tanya. Uh, she's such a sweetheart. Um, oh. She got these done i got this one as well as a pool table one nice. for jared and she got it done for that same weekend like she's absolutely phenomenal hi is h-i-a-f hi hi af uh um pot- pottery i believe yeah it's <laughs> hi h-i-a-f underscore 420 hi so it's at h-i-f Hi, underscore hi, 420. Hi. So high as fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, high as fuck, yeah. High as fuck 420? Yeah, high as fuck 420. Yeah. It's an ashtray. Yeah, and um, I was like, hey, can you put the Herbage logo in there too? So she did and that like right on the side. So it's oh, got it's golf it. balls. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love That's that. amazing. <laughs> That's cool, man. Thank you guys very, very much. Yes, we figured you deserve very, it, man. Very, very much. My, my brain's like swarming. And plus, we were like, hey, right now. he so needs an ashtray. What else can this <laughs> turn into? Yes. You could twist the balls Yeah, off I do need an ashtray. Put <laughs> 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 some <laughs> strings in there, things like that. You said that'd be cool. Art earlier, do you, like, well, did you mean like a, like, is acrylic fluid art your thing, or? So I do mixed medias. Oh, Mixed okay, media, gotcha. yeah. Um, never sticking to any style. I always cross boundaries when it's something that uh, is like this art. Um, I'm not very particular. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes people have like these weird rules and things when it comes to art, and I think that's just people just saying a bunch of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's art. <laughs> like you. Yeah. Just, let, just let people fucking paint. Yeah. 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 Yes. Shut up and just let them paint. Yeah. Yeah. 
but yeah, I use mixed media. Like water is one of my favorite things to use. Uh, you can actually use water with acrylic paint yeah. yes. uh, because it's a water base. Um, sometimes I wet my brush. Mm -hmm. um, I'll douse my, my brush in water and fling it onto yeah. the, the canvas. And that creates a watercolor as well. It can create a watercolor through your acrylic without even using watercolors. It's really cool. Um, I use oils, um, acrylic for sure, spray paint, you, you name it. I've used my hands, all kinds of different tools, my feet. Um, I think art is the most childlike thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. everybody needs to, to do it. I much. totally agree. Yeah. 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 I love it. I, yeah. I, sometimes I just like, you just try to find weird things to paint with. Mm -hmm. Like, um, just like go to the garbage can and find something that's like that'll make cool texture. Yes, and just do yeah, with it. I love that. I use sponge, I use like li it's live sponge, yeah. Um, and I have a few different ones. <laughs> I've actually crazy. I've got a lot of paintings that are anger paintings, <laughs> so I'll use like I hate to say it, but like X people's um, clothing or something. <laughs> <laughs> Put the energy into that. Yeah. Anger. I'll tell you what else I do. Anger. Sometimes I'll like, in some of my paintings around, there will be a piece of something inside of that, and you mm. won't know what it is, but it's very personal and it's hidden inside of the paint. Mm. So if anybody mm. has any of my paintings, you could possibly have something that was an intentional uh, anger inside of that paint. <laughs> Smudge the painting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. If you ever get a painting from James, smudge it before you put it into your house. <laughs> or do That's something. No, but I love that you said that about like there shouldn't be rules because mm -hmm. I personally loved art as a kid, and then as I got older, I never really took art classes or anything. And it was fluid art for me, like the acrylic pores that got me into yeah. it as well. And I that's when I kind of realized like you don't have to like absolutely know the foundations of art to start creating art you just have to start creating art mm -hmm. like you yeah. just have to play around with yeah. it I think my, my qualm with it is is I always start my pieces and then not finish them. So I like have a slew of like A D D art. I mm. thought I thought about actually like making a gallery called A D D. I I will yes, put some I am with you. I have yeah. to finish a piece. I can't walk away from it. I, I don't finish like I'll I'll start it and then I'll start another one. And then I'll look at it and I'm like eh and I'll start it. Interesting. You should do call that. it A D dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah! Like, don't finish it. Don't finish it. <laughs> don't finish it. Don't finish it. I wish I just had the fortitude to just sit down and finish mm. all of my pieces, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Unless I'm doing it digitally, then yes, but when I'm doing it um, with, you know, our physical mediums, I'm just half of the paintings done, and I'm like, meh. <laughs> yeah, it's that in-between, like, drying phase that gets me. I'm like, oh, Waiting I just step away, to, yeah. and then I never mm. come back. Right. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes whenever it's doing that, that's whenever I'll just get something else and I'll just be like, or I'll roll a joint, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. because I have to finish it. If I don't finish it, then it's gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if it takes me five or six hours, yeah. I have to sit there and do it. I do that with the magazine too. Whenever I'm um, laying it out, mm -hmm. I can't stop. Mm -hmm. I'll go without sleep right? or I'll pass out and then I'll wake up and I'll continue to yeah. do it. It's just, I don't, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed you do that with your stories when you write a feature on someone. Like, I do. you will interview them and then you'll go home and you will write it like that same day. And I'm just like, yeah. I gotta like come up with the questions and then go to the interview and then like yeah. come back to it and. And then I'll like get to the point where I can't look at it anymore and I have to put it away and like right. come back to it. Yeah. Writing is a painful process for me. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a rewarding process for me because I do that and I I, I like it's almost like I'm uh, uh torturing myself <laughs> until the end until I finish. And I know that I I mean even I'll have to go to the bathroom and I'll make myself not go to the bathroom and I'll sit there and just write and Quit write and write. Yourself. I know it's it's unreal. <laughs> and uh but whenever I'm done and I read it and it's done and it's like, hell yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. And then I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, 
that was my tip. No, I'm the opposite. I have to step away. If I get like a creative block, I'm like, if I look at this thing for another second, Mm -hmm. I'm going to start all over. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do that because I know if I just take a step back and like something will come to me. Right. But I'm the same. I have to walk away. Like I'll, I'll do a painting up until a point where I'm happy with it. Um, e- even if it's taken me 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know what I mean? Like, if this looks good, I let it dry, come back to it uh, if, if I need to. There's a couple paintings that I've just like now picked back up and that I've added details back into it, gave it more life. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, sometimes you look at a painting and you're like, I can do more with this. Yeah. And you just pick it up, you know, and you yeah. start adding what you are compelled to add um if i did that i would be afraid i would just jack it up it would be gone so there are so, yeah i mean there have been so <laughs> many times where i have overworked paintings mm-hmm. um but luckily there's white and there's um yeah. things that you can do to just cover that up and start again <laughs> exactly I mean, yeah there's yeah. artists that david cho is one david cho like redoes paintings over and over Dude, and over. I do he, too. he does that a lot yeah i do it you know I, my whole room is literally covered in canvas and of paintings that i love and adore that i just get to hang out with and so i'm just like well one day you'll go to a home if not you just hang out with me for the rest of your life and be, i'll be cool with that too yeah. just have them look forever so I just buy canvas and just keep going and keep going and keep going. You know, that's I know, just a man. part of the That's process. the same thing I do too. It's I'm I'm no good. I'm not talking like I'm an artist or anything. It's just, but I do that too. Like I'll buy kind of canvases like ten of them, and I'll go through all ten of them, and I'll just paint over them, and I'll yeah. I, I'll just paint over them white and paint them again. You know, yeah. it's like because I it's no good to me. Yeah. What can I do better? Right. Yeah. What else can I create? Right. I like this image. Cool. Take a picture of it. I have that forever. Yeah. What else can I do? Yeah, you know, that's the beauty of having a, a freaking phone now. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, I can capture this image. It's here for forever. I can actually sell that print if someone mm-hmm. wants it. You know what I mean? They want the canvas. Well, too effing bad. You should have bought it whenever I posted it. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, but uh, that that's the beauty. The beauty in that is we have these again technology. Mm-hmm. Is we have these array of things that we can still save our images and still save those memories um, yeah sometimes i forget to take a picture i'm just like well whatever just paint over it <laughs> it's, it's like it wasn't meant to be yeah you know, <laughs> just get it going mm-mm. well one thing that we like to do around here is first let you plug anything that you want to plug again you can do your instagram if you would like oh yeah uh instagram for sure <laughs> uh, my IG is Pineal Glander, P I N E A L G L A N D E R. Okay. Yeah. And anywhere else? Um, I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm on Etsy. Uh, Etsy is uh, look for Pineal Glander again. Um, and then I'm also on Redbubble. I create t shirts. Um, check for me on Pineal Glander. Um, <laughs> I'm working out the. The whole process of it, um, I've always been into just uh, art and design, and so I've always wanted to make my own t-shirts. I always told myself these things a long time ago, and sometimes you tell yourself a bunch of shit, and then you don't ever do it, and then... That's what I did during the pandemic, is I just started just making my shirts and stuff. For one, I didn't have a job, so I was like, what can I do to benefit myself, and just Mm -hmm. getting my creative creativity going, and I was like creating a lot of shirts and things like that so it's yeah especially like with all your art and stuff that would be great to just putting like you said taking a picture and then slapping it on the shirt yeah a lot of people wear that stuff around yeah certainly and that's that's what i've been doing i've put a couple of of prints on some shirts so uh people can wear them forever uh it's just a crazy it's, it's a crazy uh crazy platform but there's so many of them that you can design and do some fun things on mm-hmm. um what else shoot <laughs> it sounds like a lot there I mean, mean we'll, 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 we'll make yeah. events um, or anything so like I mean I'm waiting hopefully I can still get my high times cannabis cup judge, judge kit I'm hoping I can get that still I applied for it um shows I will be applying for pancake and booze ooh um, so I haven't I be, been yet yeah, I really so want to go to that yeah so I'll be doing that one and then 
Um, there's another one in the plaza that is being. Uh, well, well, we'll we'll make sure that we definitely put everything in. Uh, yeah, Plaza District Festival. I'll be okay. um, putting artwork down for that one as well. So okay, awesome. awesome. Yeah, man, I'm very proud of you. I, I'm Thanks. when we met. You know, I remember uh, uh, we just kind of met online or whatever, and then whenever we talked, I think both of you knew right then, or both of us knew right then. They were like, "Oh, wait." We need to talk about some other things. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm very glad of that. And one of the things that we like to do here on the show is we do readings. Oh, I hope you brought your card. <laughs> and I didn't bring any of my so, tarot cards something either. Told me, something told me. Something told me to bring all three decks oh, today. Oh, so so I'm I'm a Capricorn sun. Uh, okay, but, Capricorn. But my my rising and my moon are in Gemini. So uh, I got I got five really great energies. Wow. Um, I also do tarot uh, as well. It's a part of, I've just been around a lot of women who do these things and have found uh, a multitude of blessings and abundance through just these other avenues of knowing, knowing yourself and loving yourself. Um, so I do, I do tarot as well. And uh, that is awesome. Super excited. For this. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yes. Yeah. So uh, the, th- the thing about tarot. I, I've always been interested in it. I've never known really a lot about it, but these two have really shown me some some things, and uh, I really really like it. <laughs> I think uh, I think they're actually going to try to come up with their own show. Cool, cool. I mean, it ties. I mean, it, it they all tie together. You know, cannabis, spirituality, tarot. All these things are all in encumbrance. Drying your own sage, doing your own wraps. You know, it's all. There's rituals to these things, and cannabis has its own ritual. Yeah, as well. absolutely. Um, it's funny because, like, I don't, I don't understand why more people <laughs> don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> God, I can't believe <laughs> don't say this out loud. I don't understand why more people that are into cannabis are not obsessive compulsive. Mm. Because to me, it makes me line things up. It makes me more organized. I mm-hmm. think about things. Mm-hmm. I put things in categories. I, you know what I mean? It mm-hmm. makes that brain, bit, that yeah. side of my brain work. Yeah. So it's clearing up space so my creative brain can go off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? I, I feel that. And yeah. so I, it, it gets me. I mean, a lot of people that I do meet are. They claim to be OCD. A lot of people but. undiagnosedly diagnose themselves <laughs> oh, hard. Absolutely. And I tell all these people a lot. Long. I'm like, is that a diagnosis? And they're like, well, <laughs> well uh, uh. I'm like, don't, you don't have to defend yourself. You just keep saying this. So I'm just asking if you've been diagnosed or not. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. But no, seriously, I'm very much surprised that I don't meet more people that are actually di- diagnosed mm-hmm. OCD mm-hmm. that are in cannabis. Who's it's, first, Jess? the rituals. You get a car, you get a car. I'm the same way. Like, I have to, you know, if I'm in my car, like, I have to get my, you know, tray has to be out. My... Yeah. Okay, I have to have my pre-roll here. I have to have my grinders here. Cannabis is here. There has been times where I have moved or I've done something and I've spilled an entire eighth or whatever in my car and just been like, well, <laughs> no. <Yeah>. Whoops. <laughs> no. Ooh, we got some shuffling going on over here. What's, what's, what's happening over here? Well, literally three cards just fell out by themselves. And Those three I was are for like, you. <laughs> I was like, is that me or him, bro? <laughs> I love it when they jump out of the deck at you. Yes. <laughs> I tell them to do that because sometimes they be giving me mixed signals. I was like, if you want this card to be, then you're going to have to make it fall. All right. She's coming closer to me <laughs> over He's here. He's like, I'm scared. So, I'm scared. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. What are you doing? <laughs> are you? Oh, I have to cut them? No, just don't. They just tell me to do it. Can I set them though, like a dealer? No, I'm just kidding. No, just She's like, listen to the angels. No. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Nice. This is so cool. <laughs> is it neat? Yeah? yeah. Okay. I'm gonna Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> when you hear those voices, it's like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's so excited, ladies uh, and gentlemen. There's a... Uh, um, there's another group I just... Uh, 
signed up with. They are they do uh, medicines, they do ceremonies and things like that. Um, hoping to do my first ceremony here probably by August. But they do cannabis ceremonies um, where they actually treat it <clears throat> in a medicine type of situation where it's through healing and. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me sit top. Oh, okay. Tell me what to do. <laughs> yes. Uh, so you're in a, you're in your, you're in a group, and there's um, there's actual facilitators there, and you know you go through a actually like a healing ceremony uh, with cannabis. So uh, sure. I think that's really cool. I think that's they great. do, yeah, they do ayahuasca, they do bufo, they do all kinds of different uh, well, healing. Where is this at? This is um, out in New Walla. Um, New Walla. Yeah, out in New Walla. Um, what it's part of the state is that? New Walla, Oklahoma. Um, it's not too far from here. Yeah, it's oh, okay. um, just down the road. Yeah, oh. um, it's with. Hopefully, I don't butcher this, um, but I believe it's still through um, One Spirit Nation. Uh, you can follow them on Facebook. They also have a church that you can sign up and be a member. No, it's not a cult. Um, <laughs> it is. A, it is a church. Um, Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Hold on a tick. <laughs> yeah, like church. Church has a way of protecting you. Uh, when you're doing medicines and healing things against people who don't understand because they refuse to understand those things. so Or they feel like it is sacrilegious whenever it's right. just part of our, their, right. not part of their religion. Right, exactly. So they want to demonize and shame people who want to expand. Um, but yeah, so these are, so. yeah, this is an offering for anyone who's looking for, for healing. Um, things like that. Yeah. No, I'm not a spokesperson, but um, <laughs> no, I've, I've you know, I'm, I'm a proponent and a spokesperson for, for mm-hmm. healing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's really been my biggest thing in my journey. I'm speaking on me is, is self-healing and, and self-acceptance and self-love. Uh, if I can show those things to myself, I can show those to other people. And so, you know, that's obviously landed me here and doing this. So yeah, pretty, pretty excited. Totally get it, man. So, what do I do, Jasmine? Is one of your cards um, a mixture of four? A mixture of like it's either four of something or it's a uh, divisible four. No, I've four. got no. What Three? card did you get? Yeah, what did you get? I got seven of wands. Nice. Seven of wands. I knew it was wands. Nice. What? <laughs> He's Let all about it. it. He's playing it. poker over here. <laughs> what? Go fish. <laughs> What did he get last time? Oh, I got swords last oh, time. Oh, okay. nice. yeah, yeah, he had good. swords last time. Seven of Wands. I had this ten of swords. This is the first happy card yeah, that I've gotten on the podcast. Ace of Cups. Let's oh, go. Wow. Oh, so things are Let's shifting. Go. It's a new <laughs> month. <laughs> Mercury is no longer You're retrograde. Man. Oh my god. So James, is that okay? Wait a second. Uh, is that retrograde? Retrograde, retrograde yes. was not the greatest for me, but and we're still yeah. kind of in the shadow phase. So I'm not gonna lie. The last week has been yeah. Like it's like it went through Jupiter, so we're like. Okay. Been really on that shadow realm right now. Yeah, and it's okay. been hitting me. Saturn. Yeah. So James pretty much got your strength is coming through, and you just have to dig deep and just stay stay true to yourself. So yep. basically, like how we said last time, it's just staying true. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, Anna, you're going through what you're going through, but you're going to the direction that you need to. Finally, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> let's go. I have said I've been seeing going. three, three, three a lot, so I'm just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. That, oh, that's yeah. means the universe is behind you. Three, three, three is. Ooh, yeah. Pentacles. Universe is behind. You. Yes. Yeah. So you're. You said you got three of pentacles. So yeah, you're on the page. Three. I got the page. Page of pentacles. Oh yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm listening. listening. <laughs> I'm sorry. I could tell by that look on her face. Was, I was like, she's tuned in. It was like a standoff or something. <laughs> That's so funny. You're there. Your peak is coming. You're there. Like you're rising. You're at some rising right now. Yeah. Good. I mean, that's what they Yeah, that's what I've been feeling as well. Um, okay. Just through what I've. Uh, pulled in, in my own personal decks yeah. um, and just numerology as well um, yeah what I've been shown so I'm sticking with it yeah yeah Good. freedom and independence is like the road right now that's awesome yeah. so this is just, this is what did you get for you 
Um, I got strength. I pull a lot of strength out. That's the card I've been manifesting lately. Yeah, like I yeah. pull a crap ton of strength out. There you but go. that's because every single time, like when I start to get depressed, mm. it's like my guides are like, stop. Yeah. <laughs> because I start to feel really down and out about myself. Got like to today, draw. it's like, I think they're coming through because I listened to my own story again from mm. my podcast. So they're like, you're mm. getting there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're getting there I like it took that. a it took a lot to listen to that yeah. and it's like when everybody tells me like your story's so sad and i was like it's not that sad and i listened to it with like fresh ears and i was like holy cow yeah oh. mm, yeah <laughs> i was like i have come so far, mm. so far. <laughs> well i do want to say whenever you if you are ever ever ready we would love to hear your story as well um oh, but yeah. uh you know right now is not the time for oh us. yeah not to oh. but uh, uh <laughs> they threw another one at me what's that yes. hi priestess let's go she said no i'm not feeling the couch <laughs> hi priestess hi priestess yeah mm-hmm. i pulled that one quite a bit too my awakening's coming uh oh so many do we have so yeah. many do we have okay so when i first started getting into like metaphysical stuff and like spirituality the word awakening excited me mm. <laughs> and now that i'm like mm. in it i'm like, like no not again yeah <laughs> yes yes because like yes. you think it's just gonna be like all magic and like <laughs> angels are surrounding you it's all the time and like glitter and no work. it is like life starts hitting you hard and like throwing all of these challenges at you and mm-hmm yeah Words sometimes you're like i'm ready to go back to sleep <laughs> yeah. not really mm-hmm. but mm. but it's it's that shadow work everybody's <laughs> yeah. coming being more in tuned with themselves so now it's like mm. everybody's like i got that awakening i was like yeah you got that awakening all right yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you done slapped in the face a couple of times but you got that awakening yeah. <laughs> and i i think that that just transfers though through the ether um you know we're all made of the same substances and i believe that when you heal a part of yourself you you heal the community and so that that ties the community ties. has a lot of healing to do right yeah. now honestly yeah. i keep pulling cards and they keep coming out <laughs> keep and telling the, us the last one no like the last one i was like let me do it for everyone it's like the tower everybody needs work also yeah everyone needs work right now mm-hmm. like <laughs> legit Y'all need to work on y'all selves. Just like we need to work on this, y'all need to work on yourselves. And also just like let let things <laughs> go. Yeah, like, like don't try to stop like having so much animosity right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. Just <laughs> work mm. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Work on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe do a little dance or something. Get that movement flowing. Always. Life, that Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> well, that, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Other, it's just more I don't know but I hate to what, say more noise because I like social media but you know you're right whenever I first got on there and even now if I go on there and try to post one thing with a pot leaf on it mm-hmm. they'll take it down it's ridiculous yeah maybe. it's not even just smoking like you can't yeah. even put the plant on there yeah yeah like they but that's why you have Instagram reels yeah it has a huge uh, so following better. on that one too yeah. you can mm-hmm. use that platform so Just anyway to, yeah I'll yeah. be giving it away on something I will say <laughs> I, will, I will give TikTok credit for this once you are high you can get on there and it's just like the perfect place to go for giggles. <laughs> it really is. Okay. It is. It, like you, you know. can find the funniest videos on there. <laughs> You're hilarious, I swear. <laughs> I need that little like rush of dopamine every day. Right. Like, no, I get it. Yeah, you want to get on there and just laugh. I do that on Instagram though. Like That's I'll, true. I'll just be laughing my ass off, and somebody will walk by like, "What are you doing, dude?" And I'm like, <laughs> "It's Instagram, man. It's crazy." You're like, Girl, watch this video. If you had my Instagram feed, you would be laughing too. <laughs> I promise. That's true. That's good stuff. Oh yeah, lord, yeah. Anyway, but guess what else we got coming up? Literally, <laughs> we're gonna have some tattoos next week. What? Next week. Yep. A, uh, my a good friend rip. Votaw. He, um, Votaw. Is, How do you uh, spell that for uh, Instagram? V O T A W. 
dude is awesome. Um, he's, he does woodworking and all kinds of different art stuff, but he's a tattoo artist. Anyway, he's going to come in That's exciting. on Friday the 13th next month. Yay. And I don't know. There may be some buzzing, some tattoos going on. I don't know. May even give away something. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? It's hard to be fun, though. It's going to be so much fun. Giveaways on the giveaways, ink. Though. The ink. <laughs> I know. It's to be the yeah, we do have stack a lot of giveaways on, coming stack. up. You know? We just love Keep our patients so much. Feed. That's why. We love everyone. We love we our community. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah that's for back. sure. Yeah. That is for sure. And, you know, it's it's weird whenever... Uh, you ever get questioned about that? Questioned? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a, what you, the validity, validity of, you know, um, a lot of things that are going on with the net cannabis community right now. People are like, are you true? Are you actually? And it's yeah. like, yes, since day one, boo-boo, we got this. Well... <laughs> I've had one person ask me that, ask me that sort of question in that vein, and and um, that right there was there was enough. I'm a, uh, I, I believe in t- in integrity. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't believe in um, um, knocking other people down in order to get uh, up in life. Yeah. Um, I believe in support, and I always have i've been forced into situations in my career um um to look the other way on certain things but um that is not me and to be able to be questioned uh that and i will will not say who did that that's just tacky mm-hmm. but um herbage magazine and james bridges uh is not that type of person and not that type of business, and we will never be as long as I am in charge. Um, we support everyone, and there are some people that we don't support, and those are the people that don't support everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that we've made ourselves known enough, hopefully, to the new audience people out there. Please understand that we believe, and I believe wholeheartedly and passionately in integrity so anyway yes. <laughs> yeah yes. i got questioned about that don't question me on that please yeah, never <laughs> i don't question you i know i know you stay true well i mean <laughs> I, I don't mean that I mean, please if you do question me on that expect a passionate answer yeah please <laughs> <laughs> that was that was just a <laughs> it's all good anyway, it's all good in the neighborhood yeah. what about you Anna you doing alright over I'm there I'm just really high <laughs> <laughs> and it's like rainy weather outside I know it's like the perfect like cozy high day so yeah just cozy it is it's I so know. like oh, I just want to curl up I yeah know. I, know. I love some that anime we, and like, eat do this some ramen. in a cozy setting it might not be a good thing though at least I'm not on the beanbag chair because I probably would be asleep <laughs> <laughs> hey did you check out my strain of the month not yet nah uh, I read the first part of it. yeah so, um, Black Mamba. I did see the picture of it, and it is gorgeous. I just haven't read yeah, it yet. It was pretty, but it was pretty good inside of me, that's for sure. Yeah, like, yeah. He, it was very expressive. Y'all are um, over here sharing this month's content, and I'm still wrapping up this month's content. <laughs> <laughs> I've been glued to my laptop. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. All deadlines. <laughs> Our life. All right. Well, until next time, what are we going to do? Um, we're gonna get- <laughs> Try right. not to burn it down. <laughs> Try not to burn it down. <laughs> Try not to burn it down.